Hello, greetings, salutations, and welcome back to my channel. This is Kyle the Nest Man coming at you with part two of the Aerial Bots coverage featuring Fireflight this time. Last week we covered some Superion's, in my opinion, left arm, which is what I'm going to make them to be, even though this set does retain Scramble City functionality. Last week we covered Slingshot, this week we're covering Fireflight. Not to be confused with his original, well, not original, but redone name, Firefly, not the pony. I have no problem with My Little Pony, don't get me wrong, but he is not a pony. He is a supersonic awesome jet, modeled after the McDonnell Douglas 414, sorry, F-14 um, Phantom 2. Fireflight is like the baby of the group. In the aspect that he is a daydreamer and reckless in flight, often prone to collision. At least that's what his bio says. That's the short version. It's said that his fellow aerobots find it difficult to get mad at him because of his innocence, and yet they tend to keep their distance in the air because he doesn't always watch where he's going. You know, he's a jet who, cru who cruises the air. He finds everything all beautiful and, you know, distracting. He's like a child. So... Kind of like that. His childlike demeanor, you know, makes it so they really don't get mad at him too much. But yeah, you know the basics. Anyway, on to detail. Detail, the figure is amazing. Like his brother Slingshot, he has the Autobot symbol on his left side, your right, depending on how you're viewing this. And the same ventilation system that looks like on, his right, on the right side of his chest. Like Slingshot, the articulation is just as a crisp it is just as amazing he's got the same movement all the aerial bots have this movement so i'm not going to be covering that in too much detail his weapon sorry is just about identical to slingshots in every way now this might be incorrect as i might have mixed up their weapons after getting them from my buddy but who's to say sorry about that <laughs> All types of nonsense outside. But yeah, the wings can come out in the back like this, if you so choose to have him more in his G1 style functionality. And just like before, like Slingshot, urgh, you have the muscles, the muscles of the Aerobots. Uh, no, we won't. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the back wings are kind of nice. They're really beautiful. I do like the red the red with white aspects of it, it's got red in all the right places, it's got white in all the right places. So, you know, this is, a, I would say he is tied for a second place among the aerial bots in my collection. The third, um, very close to second place, if not second place, is Air Raid, which I'll cover next week. But right now, I just want to go on to say that I do love the face sculpt here. Just like air, um, just like slingshot, it goes up. You can look in all directions, up and down. It's on a ball joint, so it's got the classic turn. Go anywhere. Woo! Wow! Look at all this stuff, man. And he's got the wings on feet, like there. He's got the the joints right there, all the way back. And just like his bro, he can shoot into the sky. Creating those awesome poses. But yeah, dude. Let's get serious. Even though he's not. Child of the aerial bots. But yeah. In the animated series, that doesn't really show off too much. You know, he doesn't really show that. Because I guess the, the main focus, I really think personality-wise in the show, was on Slingshot and Silverbolt. They got the most um, character development of the show. But yeah, just like this, I think this is my favorite pose to have him in. Because in the cartoon series, if you recall from the G1, whenever you see the Aerobots on screen, their wings would be stretched out like that. But you can actually have them, their wings, you know, that way. But without further ado, let's transform him into his plane mode. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn the head around, just like that. And we're going to take this in the back there, lift that all the way up, and bam, just like that, there's the nose cone. So, oh, I love that clickiness. Clicky, 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 clicky. Now, let's see, where are you, my friend? We are going to, the same way that um, Slingshot transforms, 
They all do. So, like I said, I'll make this quick. I wasn't going to go into detail about the transformations just yet, but I figured, you know what, why not? Just to show you that they all are basically the same, like that. And the same, um, can just kind of kind of sandwich it in, like that, and then lift, and then move it that way. Very simple. Like I said, it's more about full, you know, unfolding. The joints are really tight, which I like a lot. So, down here, they kind of just lock into place, like there. Mm -hmm. You hear all that clickiness, right? That's amazing. It just shows how accurate things are, how sandwiched they are together. Now, let's see, right here. We have to bring the shoulders down just a bit, just like that. Oops, sorry. Forgive my set ma malfunction, and like that. Now, you see these little lines here, right here in the arms. They're going to turn around and they're going to peg into this little joint that's right here. I should have shown it sooner. You can see where my, my nail is. It's going to lock right into place there, just like that. The other side is identical. You're going to line that up just like that. And boom, just like that. And don't forget the tail. Just like that. And here he is in his plain mode. And I have to say, I like the way this looks. It's similar to Slingshot in the style of the in the style of the jet. And I like the red aspect. Every aerial bot had to be colored differently in some way, shape, or form. And it's like in the as in the way that um in the way that the rain the power rangers or other color coded teams have to have one specific one stand out more than the other this works for fireflight and let's not forget here right there lock that into place the landing gear so this way you can just chill right there oops like that and let's lower things for our good buddy here so you can see him a little bit better off. Right there. I love the accent. I love how straight the design is here. And in the beginning, oh, sorry, in the front, the beginning, all types of fluster today. I don't know. What is wrong with me? And this does not look, well, it looks good. It looks clean. It looks smooth. And right here, you have the vents here, the vent on this side. Same as Slingshot, the Autobot symbol's on either side of it. And there's, like, you like all the others, the chunk of Robot Kibble on the bottom. But as before, as I said before with the Slingshot review, I don't mind it too much because these are good-looking jets. And just like in the Slingshot review, I, they, um, I covered how it transforms into a limb. Well, I'm going to let you know now, the... Is the same can be said for Fireflight, for Air Raid, and for Skydive. They all transform just about exactly the same way. Skydive having some major, not major, minor differences that I will cover in his video. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to show you all the transformations into the limb modes. But I am going to um, put that back together because it looks a little unkempt. Um, one thing I will show that I didn't show on the um, one sh I didn't show on the um, slingshot review is the weapon placement. Now you can place the weapon here, pretty cool. I don't mind it too much, but it kind of stands out like a sore thumb when you've only got one. Fortunately, I have two slingshots gun, same exact way. So that doesn't look too bad. I don't mind it. It's it's not your, you know, it's not your uh, typical gun on vehicle placement that looks really stupid. For jets, it makes it look good. It really does. So, but even without it, even without it, it looks fine. This is uh, my second favorite jet design, I will say. It doesn't really sit very well. The one thing I will say I do have a problem with, I'm not going to sing its praises all day long, is I wish the feet could at least flip up. They've done it with Seeker jets before. They've done it with cars. So I don't see why they can't do it to give it a more sleek look to it. You know, it's not that difficult. 
But otherwise, I really don't have anything negative to say about this one. You know, and forgive the way my hand looks. I kind of cut myself. Got to go get me a Band-Aid. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. But like before, he has all the whoosh and whoosh, you know, style. And I love doing that. Always loved Jets as a kid. Always loved this kind of stuff as a boy. And so does my wifey, apparently, with the Wii in the background. But yes, that is my coverage for Fireflights. One other thing I will point out before I go is the nose cone, like on Slingshot, is a nice, hard plastic. It's pointy. It's tight. It's not rubbery um, completely. It feels like it's part of the plastic, but when you feel it a little closer, you do feel the rubber, so it's kind of hidden. I like that. Also like the cockpit design. Very well painted here. Paint aspects of this are very nice, as are the stickers. Um, same Autobot symbols on Slingshot. I do believe this is the exact same mold, but I could be wrong. There are some slight differences. But that is going to cover it for Fireflight. Next week, I'm going to be covering one of my all-time faves next to Fireflight, which will be Air Raid. But until then... This is Kylo Ness Man signing out and, rem and reminding you that growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. Childhood into adulthood, brotherhood and sisterhood. We love it all and we love you all. Peace.